Hey guys, it's Septic Rebel here. I am back with Care Bear and Fallen Angel, and we are about to play another exciting episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. I hope you guys enjoy it and enjoy the scare. And then, let's see you There we go. <clears throat> Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Space. Mm -hmm. Or you can. You have to click on it again because you're stuck with it. <clears throat> My favorites are usually novels that feel deep and complex fantasy worlds. The levels of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. <clears throat> Here he goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes lit up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Uh -oh. But you know, I like a lot of things. I like death. Stories with deep psychological elements and immerse me as well. Like, wasn't there a girl who used to go here named Sayori? And then now she's missing, and I'm pretty sure she's dead, but I'm not quite sure. And life? Okay. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination so completely to throw you for a loop? <clears throat> Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I like to kill people. Uh, I read a, uh, I read a, I read a horror book once. I just really grasp something I can write to at the minimal level. Me every time I talk to you. At this yeah. rate, you might as well be having a conversation with the rock. She is. <laughs> I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? <clears throat> really, a story makes me think or takes me to another world that I really can put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful in changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief minute. <sighs> I hate horror. Well, I just... Hanzuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you the idea? You left a piece of, paper, of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give me that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. This is what I see in Game Bums play. <clears throat> I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them in the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experiences too, Yuri? Maybe you share some of your work you can set an example to help- See what you did, Ashley. Natsuki, feel comfortable enough to share hers. Yeah. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh shit. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I got an idea. How about this? Eh? And Zuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um. Ah. Eh. Uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. <coughs> We should, all, we should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in each other together. I did decide on taking the responsibility of vice president after all. I need to do my best- I thought that said murder. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. I literally thought that said murder. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Ashlyn? Well, he's the one who brought it up. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we should most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind and I never said I would join this club. Maka may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at and um I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But but I'm sorry, I thought. Huh. Eh? <clears throat> the 
girls exchanged glances before Monica turned back to me. I... I guess I need to tell you the truth, Ash. The thing is, we don't want to do a yet to form an official club. We need four. I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... Uh, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I feel terrible feeling everyone down in this situation. And besides, I thought myself seem pretty relaxed. So if my income is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. <clears throat> okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Ash? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really didn't scare me there for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I'd be super pissed. Ashlyn, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, <clears> thanks, <throat> I guess? <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. And remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next moment. Yep. meeting. Remember your assignment. So we can all share. Make sure everybody Mom you comes pass. to me once more. <laughs> Ash, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety rolling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. My brain is just like dirty because I thought that said vagina. <laughs> the whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls Azuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Well, I really be happy spending every day after school on Larder Club. Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure a good fortune will find me. And I guess I'll start with writing a poem tonight. tonight. Do I need this? Yes. Oh. Happy dog. Happy dogs, happy dogs, happy. Well, Most likely she Sayori. Has the blood. Well, duh. So I thought she has the blood coming out of her eye holes. Um, electricity. <clears throat> but where's Monica? She doesn't get poems. <laughs> Vanilla. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Heaven sent. Um, vertigo. <laughs> Four. Look how unhappy she is. She still looks unhappy. <laughs> Broken. <clears throat> Graveyard. Down to one, and now I have two still. And I hate it. <laughs> this would be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the Ledger Club. <sighs> I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Whoa, I see that. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Ashlyn. This is the last day I see of the game comes playing. I, did, I didn't see the poems, but I seen right before the poems. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. 
you dive head first into literature when you're you still talk and just talk and just talk when you're not accustomed to it oh come on like he deserves any slack already had to be dragged here by Monica. Yeah, see, it was off the screen. <clears throat> I don't know if people's plan yet to come out and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, we won't be you won't see the end of it. So she's gonna kill us. Uh not too you certainly have a big mouth someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. I'm guessing that's what it says because she's freaking blocking it. M -m -m mango? And Ziggy finds herself stuck between, say, Monica and Manga. Manga's literature! So did it be and Ziggy popped back into her seat. Does she get closer? I'm sorry, Ashlyn. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Ziggy with a disappointed glance. Um, anyways, now that you're in the common hall, perhaps you have an interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. Okay, so <laughs> it only feels right for me to just went like that if you ask. Okay. Do you notice anything different? Right now, something's happening. Do you notice it? It's changing words. No. So I don't fancy this last time. No. The new. Anything with the background. Sideways before? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's also something else happening. <clears throat> it's sideways and it's slowly, very slowly zooming in. Like very slowly zooming in. What? What? Wait! It's actually kind of making me sick. I didn't mean it like that. Ooh. If you don't really want it, if you don't really want to, then we're gonna send everything, I guess. Uh, no, that's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be part of this club, so even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are, are you sure? I just felt like... Well, as vice president and all... Then I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out... A book. I didn't want you to feel left out! <laughs> I don't want to was playing read and say something else. Aww. Oh. <laughs> it's like I did a book that I thought you might enjoy! It's a short read, so I should keep your attention. <laughs> Even if you don't usually read, you could, you know, discuss it if you wanted to. This is. How is this girl accidentally you being so cute? <clears throat> she even picked a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew. She's getting bigger too. I look forward to hearing what you think. Whoa. Right? Like right out. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activity for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she wait was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nozuki is rummaging around in the closet. This is interesting, and I don't want to say it because she swears, but okay. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the book cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seemed to get on the first few pages. I thought the music was going to stop, and I'm just like, uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> uh... Crap! <laughs> I think she knows me looking at her. She needs to look at me and our eyes meet for a split second. That only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I remember this sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. I was just focused and I probably would have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't notice that until you just pointed that out. <laughs> I don't want to see what happened. There, I just kind of switched. <clears throat> no, it's getting further. 
ones right now. No, look, it's getting further I away. I know. It's slowly going away. Like, you can see, like, the ending where it's supposed to be. I wanted to reread some of it. Oh, shut up, my wife. Not for any particular reason. Ha! Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Yeah. When I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, that was not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly opposite here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. Let it go. I'll definitely let start it reading go. it soon. Can't hold it back anymore. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. She's on a bouncy ball, so if she screams or something, she fell. <laughs> so I'm sorry if she does. Is that so? What's the story about anyway? You know, smell? Hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is how Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the, on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that has turned into a human experiment prison. Wow. The people trapped there have this trait that turns them into a killing machine that lusts for blood. The fertility gets even facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to <laughs> Oh, that might be a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> but anyways, I'm really into it. That actually sounds like a really good read. <laughs> the book I mean. Not think about the limbs. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of dark, isn't it? <clears throat> She's actually like horror. You remember it sounded like it was gonna be a nice story, so that dark trend came out of nowhere. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy this kind of story, I, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot the area is into those things. She's so shy or cool on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. <laughs> Literally. It's just a kind of story! Sorry, I almost died. It's the kind of challenges to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, it's not just because someone wants to be evil. Because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyways. Then suddenly I'm rambling, aren't I? Hi, Van. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. Did you not hear her demon voice or like I haven't lost interest or anything. I just flew over your head. Flew over my head. Well I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Oh Jesus. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my own. I didn't read what that said. I didn't get to read it. It just went. Did you? It just. What do I get? My whole body gets incredibly something. It didn't close. It kind of forgets to pay attention. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange, like the demon that keeps popping out of me and talking to you. And please stop me if I'm talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just m means you're passionate about reading. That, that at least, I can do is listen. Well, at least. So at least... Okay. It's a lyrical ball after all. <laughs> that's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it right. Yes! Sure, really excited. I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Let me just go and get the book. I quickly... Oh. I quickly retrieve the book that I have put in my, into my bag. Alright. It's fine if it's, I sit here, right? I don't want to talk to what's her face. I slip in the seat next to Yuri. <laughs> yeah! Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. Yes, the demon just didn't come out of me. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in some in company with somebody. I see. <clears throat> well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Oh, all right. I think we can start the prologue. I soon understand what you're reading about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comfortable. Eerie in the corner of my eye, 
I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry I was just bathing in the feeling of your body. You're a... You Wait a minute. Really? <laughs> Apologize a lot, don't you? I was just bathing in your... In the feeling of your body that I couldn't read the rest. I... I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I sat my desk until it's up against like Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. Pull her body of them. against me. Ah! I, I suppose so. The demon might come out, though. Yuri to me closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders almost touch. Oh, the shoulders. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I, instead I use my right hand to open the book. <clears throat> uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn a page. Here! Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're holding even closer than before. It actually kind of kinda distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she is in the corner of my vision. She's super cute. Are you ready? She's gonna kill me, but she's super cute. And? To turn- To turn the page! Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I guess over Yuri's face skin or eyes me. Yeah, she's not even looking at the book, she's looking at us. And she's kind of actually really creepy. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Hey, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? That creepy smile. Don't be mind. Oh, I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you're so patient with me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri, Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. Ooh, it's such a my thumb gently lets go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be as late as that, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh, that's a creepy face. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I don't write to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all of that. <laughs> that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Her naked, sexy body. Something else? No, no, never mind. I didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Sorry, the demon's coming back. Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts your hand to her chest as to feel her heartbeat. I... I didn't even notice. Anyways, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? She's horny. Mm. Ashlyn? Did something, something happen off. just now? Of course. Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried? Are you worried? Are you worried about her? <laughs> I can hear what's going Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. green eyes. No, she creeps no, me out no, the most. Think... <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just... Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our problems with each other? Eh? Should we wait for Yuri? Well, it should be a while, so I figured we should just start, get started without her. Is that a Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, slap that like button. And if you haven't already, that subscribe button is slapped too. And we will see you later. Bye!